discriminate against any individual based on sexual orientation and making it legal for loving same-sex couples to marry is unprecedented anywhere in this nation. But their way was led by courageous and thoughtful local boards like yourselves. I invite you to join us this coming Saturday night, all of you and all of you, to come to what is now known as the Clubhouse, also known as the Saturday Afternoon Club, to participate in our dance, which has turned out to be quite a community dance. Uh, we have a band and, and um, a DJ, and we're going to be celebrating this long-deserved victory for equality. Thank you very, very much, and happy June and happy Gay Pride Month. Thank you, Judy. Well, it's hard to follow up on Jody. <laughs> um, I'm Delyn Rogers from PFLAG. I think you've seen me every year we've had a proclamation. So um, um, I'm really excited that, again, you are have unanimously voted uh, for uh, the proclamation. It's started in 2002, and each year you have voted unanimously, and it means a lot to our families. Um, we who have loved ones that are gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender appreciate your continued support as Pride Week is about celebrating the uniqueness and diversity of our families and children. This year is exceptional because of the state Supreme Court ruling to allow same-sex marriage, and it now gives our children and family members the same rights that we have. Um, this is what PFLAG has been striving for for 30 years. So uh, we want equality for all our loved ones and all our family members. So again, I just want to thank you. Other members of the public. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members of the board. I just want to add that uh, to me it's really not a question of marriage equality. It's simply a question of equality and what we're looking at is an issue of full civil rights for all of our citizens. So thank you again. Thank you, Mr. McCown. Other members of the public wishing to speak to this item? Okay, I'll bring it back to the board. Supervisor Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to thank um, both Delyn and Jody for, for all your community service over years because you both have done so much in the community. Um, many of those, those activities I'm aware of, and I'm sure there are many that I'm not. So that's really public service, and I really want to thank you because you've taken um, the message into the community. You've taken it to youth. You've taken it to families, and you've taken it to people that, that really need it in so many ways, and you've taken it to um, beyond um, our own community to the broader public and I really appreciate that and this is really a momentous occasion with the, with the Supreme State Supreme Court decision and um, it really is cause for celebration so thank you for all that you do and I would also like to thank uh, Supervisor uh, Wagonette because this is an issue that he took on when he was on the board he brought um, the issue forward I've been happy in the past to sponsor it as I am today, but he, he was, I believe, the supervisor that brought it to the board to support marriage equality, which this Board of Supervisors did a number of years ago. So thank you all. Thank you. Other comments? Just one to Jody. I value you as a neighbor, and uh, you're, you're, a, uh, you're a guiding light in our community, and I really appreciate your friendship. So thank you very much. Um, okay, well, thank you very much, and uh, um, thanks for coming and participating, and uh, appreciate you being here. We're right on schedule for another timed item at 145. Uh, this review and comment regarding the MSWA, Mendocino Solid Waste Management Authority, 0809 Annual Report and Budget. Um, to Mr. Sweeney, the MSWA sponsor. It's a pleasure to be here, as I am once a year at least, to talk to you about our programs. I'm happy to report today that uh, we have learned from the staff of the Integrated Waste Management Board that MSO will receive its sixth farm and ranch cleanup grant. This one is recommended by staff for full funding at $39,000. And it will go to clean up a serious trouble spot that's existed for many years on Tomkai Road, coming out of Redwood Valley. 
the money will pay for over a mile of fencing that will protect rangeland there that has been a sort of a free fire zone for dumpers and other people. So we're very happy about that. Uh, in response to a request from Supervisor Pinches, who is also on our Board of Commissioners, I have prepared an estimate of pulling from the various budget lines of how much MSWA annually spends on the average for illegal dump cleanup activities of all kinds, and my estimate is $70,000 per year. That will, of course, vary from year to year with the particular grants that we may or may not receive from the Waste Board to support this effort. Uh, 2008 is a milestone for the MSWA Hasmobile service because this year we substantially expanded our collection activity. We brought on a fourth full-time technician to make this possible and we've added six additional collections uh, in Fort Bragg, South Coast, and Covalo total. Uh, so far, we were a little concerned about the increased pace of operations, if the workload would be handled successfully, if we'd be able to keep ahead, and I'm happy to report that we have been. Things seem to be going fairly smoothly. In general, you'll note from our reports that uh, EMSWA, which is, rather than being a solid waste management authority, is in practice.